Hey folks, I work with Tech of Tomorrow with Nick of Asus once again showing you more of their technology. Now, I don't know if you guys know what's going on out there, but Nvidia has come up with this new G-Sync technology. Now, this G-Sync technology actually locks your frame rates from your video card to your monitor. Now, gamers out there, you all know that when you lose frame rates and everything, that's when you get blur, that's when you get lag. Now, with these new products that they have, you're gonna be eliminating that 100%. I do wanna mention though, that it does require your video card so if you have a really powerful video card obviously you're going to get better frame rates than if you're using a lower end video card but the beauty of that is that you'll get the full benefit of it though if you don't lose any frame rates from either end you're going to kick ass so now i'm going to hand the microphone over to nick stop babbling and let him tell us about these new products sure so exactly like you said this is our first g-sync monitor that we're going to release a lot of the ones that have been announced this week are all been 1080p this is going to be the world's first wqhd g-sync monitor so this is 2560 by 1440 resolution. Does it hit the gamer G spot? It does. It, you got a one millisecond response time. You got up to 144 hertz refresh rate. Um, and the really great thing about this is that it's going to be available in April for $7.99. And talk about the resolution. Yes. So the, yeah, that's that's the biggest that's the biggest deal. Is uh, Nvidia had their their press event. Um, they showed off all their G Sync monitors. Uh, except for this one because this is the world's first WQHD, the 2560 by 14. The bad boy, right? And this is what we want to do in Bell. So as you can see, this is our first ROG monitor. We have some ROG branding here in the bottom corner. We kept the front very clean, um, very thin bezel. And then the back, if we can maybe turn it around a little bit, we can see that we have the ROG styling. Uh, oh, on the bottom, we got the coloring. The coloring and on the back, it's kind of the same kind of stealth uh, jet styling that maybe some of the ROG laptops have. Now, I always think this is like supposed to be like, is it Ferrari or like Lamborghini kind of style? I don't know. I, we, might, we might text ways to Ari I'm like, hey, that's Ferrari. They're like, no, it's Lamborghini. But you guys can see this thing's really thin. It's really light. And at 2560 by 1440, gaming does take on a new aspect. And if you've got a monitor that's going to fully support that, you're going to see that in your gaming. So this product's going to be coming to market, like Nick said, at about $800. So when it first comes out, it's going to be a bit pricey, but you guys expect that you get high end, you pay high end prices. And but it, as it actually shouldn't be very much more than the 1080p solutions, which I've seen prices have been announced in the six to seven. Oh yeah, range. for sure. I've seen so them. From, to go from 1080p to WQHD, at $7.99 should be a pretty good proposition. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting one for myself because w when you're playing a game and you're losing stuff, especially you're doing with the 3D glasses, mm -hmm. having your frame rates locked in is going to be very, very important. I myself personally can't wait to get my hands on one and do some testing. So let us know, folks, what you guys think. I know you guys have like written in before and said, oh, the Jeep thing thing, it's way too expensive, but really think about it. Don't think about it from the money perspective. Think about it from the gamer's perspective. And as the technology matures, it's going to get cheaper. So eventually you'll be able to afford it. So I'm Elric. This is Nick from Azus. We'll see you guys back here on Tech for Tomorrow with more tech from Azus very soon.